So the first thing is, in order to be uh, an effective modern male, one of the best things to be able to do is to think firstly nationally and then globally and to take advantage of the fact that this is an amazing time and place to be alive if you use it well. It's also a really difficult time and place to be alive if you are stationary, if you uh, cannot pick yourself up and move to places where the opportunities are better. When I first started playing music, I was born and brought up in a city called Canberra, which is the capital city of Australia. Sounds cool when you say capital, but it's not at all a cool place. Uh, one of the most boring cities on the planet. The only people there are public servants and heroin addicts, and sometimes they're the same thing. Uh, but there's nothing much going on there. And myself and my crew started our band there. We got to the top of the scene, which meant not a lot. And <laughs> at some point, we re realized that if we wanted to go anywhere else, there were systemic limitations to our location. And that's a really important thing to note, especially for people who are involved in, or everyone, but guys who are involving themselves in uh, entrepreneurship, positive thinking, self-development. There's a lot that's talked about in terms of your mindsets, which is very important. It is very important to cultivate positive, effective mindsets. But it is also important to be realistic and recognize when the place you're in does not support you. All right, for me at that time, that was not the place in Australia to be playing music. For a lot of guys who w want to have some kind of artistic pursuit or entrepreneurial pursuit or want to be, want to be in a world where free creative thinking is uh, fostered and supported, then your second, third, fourth tier city where people do as told is not necessarily the environment that you want to be in. Who's heard the, the saying that you basically are or resonate at the same frequency as the five people that you spend most of the time with. Yeah, I don't know if I said the quote exactly right, but you get the idea. The people that you hang around with and are with most of the time, tend to, you tend to operate at that similar level. The people that I grew up with uh, and still love to this day as close friends are not the people that I'm traveling the world with having crazy and wild, interesting adventures with, because those people have chosen lives that are stationary, that are simpler, um, more predictable or whatever they've chosen but the point being that if you want to uh, be excellent in any field one of the things you're going to need to do is move to a place where excellence is encouraged. There's a new archetype for masculinity which has kind of appeared roughly around the time when Tim Ferriss wrote his book, The 4-Hour Workweek. Is there anyone who has not read this book in the room? Okay. Oh, there's a few. All right. Well, this archetype of, the, of a modern playboy entrepreneur, which differs from the successful male of, say, like the 80s, which was the Wall Street guy with the, you know, the nice watch and the fast car, <coughs> is more exemplified by a man who is pursuing excellence internally, in terms of his mindsets, physically, in terms of the way that he uses his body, and then is hacking all sorts of systems in, in order to optimize what he gets out of life. Right, so the, the four hour work week laptop entrepreneur uh, modern male, when he gets up in the morning, does something along the lines of drinking his bulletproof coffee, stretching for 30 minutes, 28 minutes is the most optimal length of time to stretch. Uh, opens his laptop, does a little bit of this, makes a few hundred, you know, a few, few K, closes the laptop, then goes and does his workout, which is optimized perfectly so that not a single motion uh, or calorie is wasted. Uh, then, and he's doing this on a beach in Thailand or in Costa Rica or somewhere where it's, you know, beautiful and sunny. And uh, then goes and eats some awesome paleo food with the right level of macro and micronutrients. And then what he does the rest of the day, I'm not exactly sure because he's just got so much time to spend. And then goes through his evening routine where he has apple cider vinegar with some honey and listens to some meditation stuff that pulses in various ways and makes you meditate like a monk. And then falls into a blissful smug sleep of knowing that not a second was wasted in that day. Yeah. So. <laughs> And I'm not f making fun of that archetype because that is, well, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> look, I'm not doing what I did. 
this, I mean, this is actually a great model for a man compared to what the one of the what 80s and 90s was of like, work hard, play hard, snort cocaine, bang hookers or something like that. Um, this is a, you know, this is a, a cool model because what, it, what is this using is using the resources and the knowledge of all of uh, Western and Eastern psychology and, so, and health and all sorts of things in order to live a life that's excellent. All right? It's a cool model. And people sometimes ask me, James, what's your morning routine? And I'm like, well, sometimes I get up in the morning and, uh, and, and then I do whatever I feel like doing. I'm actually somebody who is incredibly undisciplined, who has no routine, except for the fact that I always get what I said I'm going to do done. All right? that's, that's, kind of, that's the way that I've managed to operate. Uh, I get up at all sorts of different times, I eat all sorts of different things, I try to eat healthy, I do stretch, uh, not every single day, most days. I do work out, not every day, but, but most days. Um, I am, do try to use optimizing techniques in all sorts of areas, including my business. But my, I've never been able to maintain a really heavy discipline uh, that follows a, a, an extreme set of steps to get the, the most out of life. Uh, and that's just the way I, I do things, so I'm not necessarily the best model for someone looking to find optimizing routines. But the thing about this archetype is I've taught lots of guys who fit into this category because uh, it works for some guys. They go out and they figure out how to work from a laptop uh, or how to, how to have skills that are mobile and move around the world, which is something I think is fucking amazing and awesome. Photographers, but massage therapists, life coaches, all sorts of guys who do something on the internet and money appears. Uh, these guys are often my clients and also I bump into a lot of these different guys through my travels and my, my work. And one thing I've noticed is that as effective as they may be, there is something missing in this archetype, something very vital missing in it, which is that sitting on a beach in Thailand doing all that stuff is really lonely if you don't have a crew around you, is really unfulfilling if you're not actually able to like, integrate into the society that you've decided to move and become part of. And especially if you're not able to go out and meet women and bring them into your life.